Welcome back and thank you for joining us. Ladies Lounge Ghana Special. I'm glad you're back with us and you're looking forward to hearing some more of our juice. We have another question, another topic, so stay focused. Now, ladies, I want to know, it was recently discussed and it's recently come out that Theresa May is going to be cutting um, child benefit for different reasons. I want to know, or should I say we want to know, mm. does not having children or a child make you less empathetic to people that have children? It kind of pains me. What does? To hear you say that out loud. Oh, eh? mm. And I say that because just because you are able to push a child out oh, of girl, your womb, speak, preach, 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 preach. doesn't make you automatically a good mum. And I'm a mum. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask, actually, before we go into this deep, mm. deep, deep, can we just say, if you don't mind, what our statuses are? If we are mothers or we are we Okay, mothers, all right, cool. Mom. I'm a mum. A mum. To a seven-year-old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a mum of two, a 15 and a three-year-old. I'm a mum of three. Mm -hmm. 26. Oh, yeah, girl. 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. 17 now. <laughs> Don't cry. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't have any... Phys I haven't given birth to any physical children. No. Okay. So, so that's my... Zero, statement. one, two, three. There okay. we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. There zero, we go. There we go. one, two, three. three. So, okay. ladies, let's get in there. Let's yeah. get down. We've all got our opinions about mm -hmm. this. What do we feel? Does it make you less empathetic or does it make you more empathetic to people who have children? I will say, I only have one child. Mm -hmm. Before I had my one child, I was very connected to other children. Mm -hmm. So, looking after them, raising them in the family, mm -hmm as we do. Mm -hmm. I will say with my own child, there is definitely a sixth sense that I have that I've acquired since becoming a mother. Mm -hmm. I know when my child is about to wake up in a different room. Mm -hmm. I know my physical being, the energy, I know there's telepathy going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That said, I don't believe that you have to have had physically your own child to become a good mum. There are mums who have their children every day and they're locking their children in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. They're not feeding their children. They're abusing their mm -hmm. children. So I don't think you have to have had physically been yeah. a mum to I, become a in, good mum. For me, I think that being uh, someone that has empathy, it's not about having children mm -hmm. or pushing one out, as you said. That's right. Because we have serial killers oh, hell yeah. that have kids oh, yeah. and they have no empathy mm. whatsoever. That's right. And I personally have different women in my life that do not have children, but I think they are more empathetic towards people than yeah. even I that I have two kids am. Mm -hmm. I have a friend that is a social worker and when we're talking about the cases that she's she's on, mm -hmm. when I'm talking, I'm like, please just send that child to Africa, send that child here. And she's like, no, you can't do that. Mm. You have to understand, you have to. So mm. it, it has nothing to do with, you pushed a child out. Yeah. So automatically you have empathy. And on top of that, I think empathy is something that is installed in a person. That's right. It's how you're brought up. It's either part of you, you or it's or not. not. You're either yeah. internal so it doesn't, or yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. issue with that whole, there is a main thing in mm. the comment mm. the other MP lady made mm -hmm. was she said, because she's got children, she's more invested in society, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I feel is an insult yeah. mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. women, whether you've got kids mm -hmm. or you've got no kids. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have children or a child to be invested invested in the society that yeah. your child is growing yeah, up in. That's true. You know? And because Theresa May hasn't got children, does it mean she can't relate to other people? Like mm -hmm. you said, she must have nieces, nephews, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. I've got best friends who have got no kids mm -hmm. they connect very well with my children even on the level that i don't connect yeah, with my kids yeah let's take it back to africa i was going to say oh, how people like, are yeah. treated because they don't have children yeah. your decisions that you make you're it outcast. could be good yeah. you're outcast you're oh outcast. i oh and i remember i remember when my when we were growing up uh, you have no right to uh, correct a child because you have no children. Yeah. See, culturally, Come on. culturally, it's very interesting because we are, you know, we're very matriarchal. Yeah. We are about having children and that, that shows, that's a sign of wealth in mm -hmm. a sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it is. However, there are those one, two, two aunties in the community and I was raised by one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, I had my own mother, but she was very yeah. influential yeah. in my upbringing. As we say in Africa, you, you give birth to a child, a whole community mm -hmm. brings up that child. Raise that child. Yeah. Yeah. Yet, I think the the first insult that would be thrown if there was ever a situation would be like, but you don't, you don't have, have children. children. Yeah. Which is so wrong. then your judgment. And to be fair, I, when I'm, maybe my, before I hit the teens and when mm. I was in my teens, 
everybody that's very close to me knows I didn't like children. Now that sounds really mm. profound. No, it's not. And even now I'm thinking, how does that even work? But I didn't. I was like, I haven't got time for that. Yeah. Like, mm, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Not because I was trying to be a brat. I just didn't like them. I was mm -hmm. like, well, what for? But fast forward how many more years later, I do love children. I haven't given birth to them physically. I have loads of children that I call my children. Mm -hmm. They're my godchildren. Mm -hmm. I've got four of them. And then I've also it's got two. Expensive living. It's yeah, very expensive. Living. So I, I told them that's I don't got, want no got, more. No, I don't want like like more. It was supposed to be days. just three and another one slid in there. Slid in there. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I told you it was but, um, them sliding is not a good one now. No, no, no. But then also through the work that I've done over the years, it's part of me naturally, I don't know how, but very naturally of me to would mentor. You not, darling, and would, you, would, raise. You, would you not say because of your upbringing that you've been thought to be, to have that kind of empathy towards other human beings? It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the race is or where they come from. Yeah, I from. think so. Definitely, yeah. as and coming from a Ghanaian family, I yeah. definitely had that. But yeah. a few years back, maybe uh, four or five years ago, a family member actually said something to me that was really profound, which is the same question we're asking now. There was a, one of my next door neighbor's children who is autistic, was tr looked like he was trying to climb from mm -hmm. upstairs window. Mm -hmm. Now we live in a houses that are two story and I know the child wouldn't do, climb out because I just know the neighbors, but my cousin was there and he was like, Skinny, you need to do something. The child's gonna drop out. Don't, this means there's nothing gonna happen, it's okay. And he was so annoyed. Mm -hmm. He said to me, it's because you don't have children, that's why. Oh gosh, that's That so... stung me more. Yeah. Because I thought, you've Oof. got five children. Yeah. And the way that I've imparted in their life, whether small or large, is something to something. me yeah. as, as well as the yeah. other children yeah. I know. But I don't yeah. really think it's down to having children, no. The devil's advocate here. The, the devil doesn't problem. need any advocates in life, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm applying for the job. She's applying for the job. Let's give her the job for the next four minutes. Let's give her the job. My thing is, there's all this talk about women who don't have children, and we know in Africa, mm. oh, we want grandchildren. If mm. they don't have kids, it's a woman's fault. Yeah. Also, you know, mm. a woman that's not got a child, oh, don't tell my child off, you don't have any children. Yeah. yeah. What about they made a decision not to have children? Exactly. That's exactly. They have a choice. Yeah, they have exactly. a choice. That yeah. doesn't make them I'm a sorry, bad person. In case you don't know, I understand if you don't want kids. Kids yeah. are expensive. I've got three. <laughs> You will never have a pure <laughs> night's sleep in your life again. It's oh, like you're tired now. It mm. is a choice not to have kids. Mm. I don't see why people should be, you know, chastising them for it. Yeah. Or to say that, oh, you don't have children, you can't speak. So to your children. morals you are wrong or your morals yes, are not right. Exactly. You can tell my child off. It was yeah. that close to me. Yeah. You know, that close to my child. Mm -hmm. But no woman should be f to be made to feel that because they don't have a child, they can't make, they can't contribute exactly, to that child. Like, exactly, exactly. Society. Society. Exactly. Society. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't. I can't believe but that. But then, do you also think that that is possibly? I say this with all due respect, but is that possibly your Western mindset influence discussing that? Because as Ghanaians in mm -hmm. Ghana who are in Africa. They don't think like that. I don't think no, 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 I'm not going to say how old, but... No, no one enough. enough. Please don't, you know. don't, don't let your case slip through. <laughs> you know. A slide out. Slide it out. <laughs> you know. I think, slide I it out. Out. <laughs> out of my group of friends, I was the last one anybody thought would have kids. Mm. You know, I didn't even know I was pregnant. Until I was five and a half months pregnant. Oh, I wow. had nothing about I was not planning on having kids. Mm. I had a social life. I had a life. A life. I didn't want to interrupt it. <laughs> the life. The life. <laughs> a living. I didn't want to interrupt it by kids. Mm. You know, and to be honest with you, I never thought that, oh, they're gonna look at me differently if I don't have kids, if I don't have I never thought of it that way. But that might have been your but age. I know at the some time. people mm. get that problem. Yeah. Mm. But even now, if I don't have kids. I don't think I'd really care what people say. I remember, that's my choice. I remember when I got married, um, there was a, I, I left a whole gap because mm. I was still living the that life. life. Yeah. <laughs> I needed the <laughs> life to know who I am. Yes. yes. So um, I, I have a very good friend. She was like, oh, you need to have a child. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, why should I have a child? Mm. She said, oh, you know, in Ghana, if you don't have a child, mm. no one is going to respect you, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And she actually went further that, when my husband was visiting in Ghana, mm. she came to stay with us to make sure that, oh, and she was calculating my days. Oh, yeah. Like, wow. how many no, days you have? Oh, oh, no, she, that is, uh, uh, that was she a made, no, no, that she was popped 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 Oh, no, she was. Popped 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 oh, and you know right, what? I right. am actually mm. grateful also to her okay. because 
if she didn't do that, I might not have my six, 15 going on to 16 mm. year oh, old. Okay. So I, I no, well, but I think that's if you know me, knowing your relationships. Yeah. No, if you know that's me, knowing your relationships. No, if you your know me, and if well. you know me that well, yeah. I, I wouldn't to be go there with you like that. No, yeah. no but I needed to be policed <laughs> yeah. now. If you know me well, I need to be policed <laughs> to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. So <laughs> I need to be policed. And I actually did appreciate her for that. But with the conversation we're having now, mm. I don't, I would go like, no, not really. I, I don't need a mother. I don't need, yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't need to have a child to be empathetic towards human beings. Yes. Yeah. And I will say, but let's not, th that doesn't take away from the fact that being a mother is a miraculous oh, gosh. thing. Yes. No, it's, it's a it privilege. Is. People oh, take yeah. it for granted what you go through yeah. Oh, yeah. from conception all the oh, way. Gosh. It's it's not easy. People and die not still not today. Oh, no, it's, no. it's not no. to be taken certainly lightly. acquired a new set of skills. Respect, yeah. As a mother, there are things mm. that I've gained and, and oh, yeah. have helped me evolve as a human being, as yeah. a mother. And, and you I know, will never dismiss that. I had, I, had a I had my child, first child, uh, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and I have another one uh, 12 years later. And believe you me, there are two different worlds. Yes. When I had my first yeah. child, I was in a different space, mm -hmm. a different, I was a different human being, mm -hmm. and now I am a different person to that child too. But so I believe every human, every woman, we have our own ways yeah. of dealing with the world. Yeah. You, can, you can be a serial killer and have kids That's and right. have no empathy yeah. whatsoever. And you can have a child and you, you can be childless actually and be and have all the empathy yeah. in the world. I yeah, think exactly. we're all yeah. the best. And on, That's not, right. on that note, I want to say is mop, 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 mop to, to our Ghanaian sisters. Yep. But Happy Independence Day. Ladies Lounge <laughs> on Vox Africa because there's going to be a lot more coming all the time, not just with Ghana, but us as a continent yes. Yes. as a whole. So loads of love to you all and thank you so much. Ghana Independence, we love you. Ghana, my ladies, yep. my sisters. And again, I'm Confidence and Claire Clossy. And... Laurie Larson. And I'm Sakina. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.